Hello there and welcome. In this video I'm going to be discussing the best fish for a cold water aquarium. Now many people think there isn't much choice for cold water but in fact that is untrue. There is plenty. The first fish I recommend is the cherry barb. The cherry barb is a brilliant fish for a small aquarium. Like most shoaling fish it likes to be kept in groups and a good ratio of one male to two females is best. When they mature, they are an amazing red colour and are a very active fish. The next fish, and one of my favourite cold water species, is the white cloud mountain minnow. Now these are an excellent species for people who have never kept fish before, as they are very hardy and don't require a lot of maintenance. They're also incredibly active. There's two types commonly available, the standard, which can be seen here, and the gold. Now the gold is exactly the same as the standard, just a different colour variety. Now a really common type of fish to be found within your aquarium shop are types of danio. The most common of course being the zebra danio. However there are many many types of danio and most of them are suitable for a cold water or temperate aquarium. They're very very active fish and like to be kept in large groups. However they can be nippy and aggressive towards more docile species. Now another species you can put into a temperate or cold water aquarium, but one that gets a bit bigger than the species discussed before, are the paradise fish. Now these are a large labyrinth fish and generally you treat them much like a gourami. They're very very colourful, but of course can get quite large, up to 6 inches. So you need a fairly big aquarium to keep them happy. You can keep them in groups or in pairs, however they do need territories of their own. If they don't have that they will fight amongst themselves. Now a fish that you don't often see in many shops is the blackfish. This is actually from and is a beautiful and unusual fish for a cold water or temperate aquarium. These fish grow to about 4-5 to five inches. Treat them much like American cichlids in the fact that you'd like a male and a female, or possibly two females, in one aquarium. They can get a little bit nippy when they're breeding, however they are a very colourful fish and tend to stay near the bottom. Like any aquarium, you'd like a bit of cleanup crew. Now there are a few species of cleanup crew available, such as Corydorus, the best species being peppered Corys, albino peppered Corys, or as you can see here the bronze quarry. All of these will put up with temperatures down to around 16 degrees so normal house temperature. They like to be kept in groups the more the merrier when it comes to Corydorus. Now an all-time favourite of many people is the platy, old water version of the platy. They're just as colourful and active as tropical counterparts but they're called the varietas platy. found in many aquarium shops and are pretty common. Please be aware though, the normal platy isn't so good in cold water, so make sure you're buying the varietas platy. These guys like to be kept in small groups and are very, very active. They're also a good fish for people who are beginners in the aquarium world. Last but not least is the common fancy goldfish. Now, there are loads of different types of goldfish, um, but the only ones suitable really are the fantails. The standard long goldfish, pond goldfish, are not suitable for aquariums, because they get too big. and I recommend 30 litres per goldfish kept at a minimum. However they are a pretty robust fish and there's lots of choice and coloration available. They're one of the cheapest fish and easily obtainable on the market. However that doesn't mean they should be mistreated. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful and happy fish keeping.